What's up boys, hope you got a blessed day so far. In today's video, we're going over the best operators within the Vector Glare. I'm not gonna waste any more of y'all's time. Let's get right into it. So I just wanna go ahead and give y'all a quick disclaimer before this video starts. I'm gonna make fun of your favorite operator and I'm probably gonna piss a lot of you off because that's what my tier list videos do. I have people argue with me in the comments saying Montang is an S tier operator. Look, man, that's just, this is my opinion. This is what I believe, and this is what I believe to be the best tier list in all of Rainbow Six Siege. So I'm gonna go ahead and break it down. Let's grind it. So obviously we got first Cav every single season. I put her down here. I don't really have to explain. She's just trash, terrible guns, awful. Her gadget is not useful above gold. I only see people play Cav in gold. If you play Cav above gold, you're gonna end up losing that game. You're just not gonna play well. There's very few people who can play skillfully with Cav at a high rank. Next opera is Blitz. Blitz is just not that good, bro. I mean, there's very few times I've actually let Blitz even get close enough to be able to kill me. Because most of the time, you have idiots who try to aim down sights, you headshot them easily, or you can just shoot their feet or their shoulder while they're trying to run at you, and it's just easy kills 90% of the time. Montang, in a stack, he's very good. By himself, he's terrible. But as an operator whole, he just, he's not that great. He's just, he's not good. I don't like shield operators. I'm not a shield operator person. That's why I put most of shield operators very low on my tier list because shield operators don't have that much of a use in Siege, in my opinion. They really don't. They're not as good as people say they are. Next operator, we have Blackbeard. I got a clip yesterday. This Blackbeard was holding an angle, bro. I literally shot his shield before even seeing his head, then shot his head. Like his shield poked out further than his head did so i knew he was there because of his shield so that literally got him killed his shield got him killed that's how bad of an operator blackbeard is goyo somehow i didn't know rainbow six siege could do it but they somehow made goyo worse with his rework the operator is now worse because of his rework they made it worse how do you make it worse i don't know ubisoft figured out a way though and then our last operator in the terrible tier we have glass the only operator in the game that is extremely limited with loadout he is the only operator that has a dmr and no sort of good secondary weapon like you have people like cali they have an smg you have people like dokubi they have an smg glass has two pistols and like a really bad dmr his gadget got nerfed into the ground and he's just he's not the operator he used to be all right so now moving into the next series is much smaller too these are the operators i believe are not as bad as the operators below them but need to be reworked. There are things that need to be changed about them in order for them to become better. So first of all, we got Clash. I personally think Clash should be turned into an operator. She should have a very bad, like maybe she, they should just have her get a shotgun, right? They keep her SMGs, right? And they give her like a decent shotgun. Let's say like the, uh, the M870 or something. Nothing too crazy, nothing too good. A shotgun that's okay. And then they turn her clash, they give her like Tesla coils that you put on the ground, kind of like Malusi. And if you get too close to the Tesla coil, it'll shock you. And the closer you get to it, the more damage it does. And it has like a health pool. Let's say it has like 200 health or something. And you have to like full auto the gun, the, the full auto the Tesla coil for to destroy it. I think that's the best way they could rework clash. But I don't think they're going to do that because clash by herself right now, she's decent. Like I had some dude clutch in my game yesterday. I cannot believe he clutched with Clash, but I just think she needs to be reworked. We went on to Lion. So Lion himself, his op that operator, his like kit and loadout isn't bad. The V308 is kind of mid, I guess. But his gadget is just not good, man. It's not good. You have to really pair it with a lot of operators for it to work well. I mean, it was good when it first came out, but now, dude, they've nerfed it so far into the ground. It's, it's not even close to where it used to be. And then the last operator, we have Capital. So I was in a game on border yesterday and this Capital was shooting his firebolts and he was so focused on trying to get his firebolts in the right spot, I just shot him in the face. Like they need to make it to where he can have an easier time of using his flash things. I think they should just give him fire grenades instead. That would make more sense because it would be more accessible for him and it would just be easier. Give him fire grenades, give him smoke grenades, make it to where he throws stuff like that instead of having a crossbow. The crossbow is very unnecessary and it just makes his job a lot more difficult. You give him fire grenades though, completely changes the operator. He's gonna be a lot better and actually be useful. Don't change his loadout because then you'll probably get better, but because the para and his LMG are good enough to keep. 
but I personally think that if they if they rework those operators in that way, it'll be a lot better. All right, so now we're moving on to a much larger section of the tier list, and this is the mid operators. These operators are kind of average, a little bit below average, I'd say. And, I mean, I still have three more levels, so I would call these operators kind of like the below average to average range within there. It just depends on the operator. So first of all, we got Doc. With the introduction of Thunderbird, Doc has been almost useless like there's just no reason to have him because thunderbird is so much easier to use and just a better operator even a better gun so doc himself has just been kind of thrown out of the meta so that's why i'm kind of saying he's mid he's him he himself is not a bad operator just a better option tachanka is mid i think tachanka like i love his rework i love the idea they try to portray it's just that lmg man it cannot it is too slow it is just too slow of a firing gun i, I don't even use it I, I'm, I try to use his SMG and even then without the, without the LMG you can't really make rotates and you can't really set up how you want to. Next up we got Rook. I, once again with Thunderbird, Rook it just, he's not that great man, you know what I'm saying? Like I personally use Rook maybe on one site on Outback just because of his kit. Like he's the only operator on defense that has a 2.0 optic and I'm willing to use that, you know what I'm saying? Because He's pretty good with that, but otherwise, he doesn't really have a lot going for him. He's a three armor. The rook armor plates aren't super useful because a lot of people just get headshots. Next armor, we got Fuse. So, I think Fuse is on the higher range of this section because I really like that he has hard recharges. Because if Cade's banned and they went on a site that has two hatches and a destructible floor, that's Fuse's playground. Get a Fuse and a Nomad. Nomad gets off all the flanks. Fuse can get both hatches. And he can fuse the floor. I think that's a really good mixture right there. And I think he's a decent operator. It's just the fact that he's a three armor and that he doesn't always work on every site. Because if you're a good enough player and you hear fuse put his charge down, if you throw your nitro immediately, you will end up killing that fuse and destroying the charge as long as you hear it. Next up, we have a Maru. Maru's loadout is disgustingly good. Very, very good loadout. Just the gadget itself is too predictable and it's too easy to hear and it doesn't work above like plat three. It really is predictable and you're going to die if you use it. So most people I see run it who are in the higher ranks, they run it um, just for the loadout because that loadout is insane. I mean, a GA and an SMG 11 crazy. So then we got Warden. I think Warden's on the higher tier, especially with the introduction of Sens. A lot of people don't think Sens is that good. They think she, she, that it's average. I think that when Sens starts to be used more, Warden will obviously also be used more because he's the, her direct counter but warren's a good operator he's a good operator he's just you know he's one of those operators where you'd rather have another operator he's not really something you need he's just kind of a luxury who's there if you have all four of the operators you need for the site then you can play warden because his loadout and his kit is pretty good and i don't mind his gadget at all next operator next operator we have knock i personally use knock a lot there are a lot of sites i will use knock on just because of that gadget i just think that her gadget is when you start to play uh, smarter people or at least better people who have game sense they'll play lesion a lot you're gonna have lesions ellas frost there's so many trap operators you have to worry about and barbed wire especially barbed wire can just completely ruin your push with knock because they're gonna know you're coming so once your surprise factor with knock is gone it's really difficult to have a heavy impact upon the round so i typically like to use knock on maps I know people don't put a lot of barbed wire down and don't defend certain areas a lot that's when knock really thrives next up we have frost that gun is good I ain't gonna lie that SMG is a good gun I cannot lie to y'all is a good gun but that gadget has been in the game for so long that people just know exactly how to counter now no matter what window I jump through I will shoot below me if I know there's a frost so next up we have orcs I love orcs personally I think he's really fun to use it's just He's one of those operators, man. You, you'd you rather have another operator. There's better roamers. Vigil's a much better roamer. I'd rather have him. I'd even rather take Alibi in a lot of situations because I prefer the MX4 over the T5, but that's just my personal preference. There are a couple sites I'll use Orcs on, for example, on Border, and a lot of times on Bank I'll use Orcs, but otherwise I don't really touch him that much. Finca. Now, a lot of you are probably going to be confused as to why I put Finca this low. Finca is overrated. Her LMG is good. Her kit has gotten better, but I think she is one of the most overrated operators in this game. She only heals you for about 20 health, and it doesn't last for that long. They removed the recoil buff, which I personally like a lot, but 
but a lot of the lower skilled players who are used to that, not good for them. Um, I think Fink is just overrated. She's personally for me just not one of those operators I want to use. It's just not ever an operator I choose ever. Then we have Malusi. I love Malusi so much, man. I really do. It's just most of the operators in mid, they're decent. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's mid. But there's just other operators you need more for the site that you would rather have. Malusi's MP5, you know, the MP5 is just a headshot machine. I enjoy it a lot. And her gadget is still decent, even though you can shoot it. I think it's still pretty good. So Thorn. Um, last tier list I did, Thorn was like top, top tier. Top tier. Because um, I thought she was very good when she first came out. Now I've kind of realized she is mid. Her gun's pretty good. It's pretty good. But the gadget itself has become pretty predictable. And you can even shoot. Like, the gadget takes so long to activate. Most people just shoot it. Like, I've shot a lot of thorns that I've been trying to activate. It's just, it's pretty predictable. And you have Alibi. I think Alibi is an operator to set up uh, angles and do weird roams with. I think she's a lot of fun for that. And I do use her in that way. I, I personally use her more than I should. Because I just enjoy the operator itself. But the gadget is just it's not that great, bro. It's a hologram. And most of the time when someone shoots a hologram, they're not in a position to where they're exposed. So you're not really going to get that kill. And then the last operator we have here is IQ. I use IQ a little bit. Not a lot. On a couple sites, I'll use IQ suppressor and just walk up a staircase and just slam everybody because no one guards the staircase. But I think IQ is overrated. There's just other operators you need. Like... Y'all are probably going to be mad at me for Fink and IQ being this low because it's probably one of your favorite operators, especially for you aggressive players who like to use G8 or Fink as LMG. I just think they're a little bit overrated, that's all. All right, so moving on to the next tier in this list, we have the helpful tier. These operators are operators that are very good to have on the site and are pretty helpful within most sites. Now, there are some operators in here that are very, very good in some sites and very, very bad in some sites, and that's why they kind of balanced out to right about the middle. So we have Ella. I think Ella, depending on who uses her gun, is very good. If you can control the Scorpion, that's great. Me personally, I suck with the Scorpion, but I can't do it. I just can't. But if you're good with the Scorpion, man, or you're one of those shotgun weebs, you'll be a good player with her. Twitch, one of the best in the game for a long time. I just think that slowly the operator itself has been kind of fizzled out because of, you know, Cali, Maverick, all these other operators that can do her job a little bit better than her. I still think the F2 is a top tier gun, but Twitch herself as an operator has moved down a little bit in my tiers. Then I have Mira. Mira is the single most situational operator in Rainbow Six Siege. If you set up the Miras correctly on sites that can have Miras, she is one of the best operators. But not every site can have a Mira, and it's not always set up the correct time. And also, it's just not even played correctly half the time. She's one of those operators that's either go big or go home. It's that simple. A lot of people try to main Mira and put her on any site. Like, I swear to y'all, I, I was playing Coastline last night, and there was a Mira upstairs roaming. Like, that's just, you know, it's not where you play Mira. So I put Sludge here. As you guys see, Buck has not come in yet. I think Buck is a better operator than Sludge. I like Sludge more than Buck, but I think Buck is better. So S Sludge is just a little more limited than Buck because he has to get really close to what he has to destroy. Buck does not. Buck can blow up in the floor, and they can throw a Nitro, and he won't die. But if Sludge uh, breaks the floor... He has a higher chance of dying to a nitro and he just has to get really up close and personal to things in order to destroy them and i don't really like that and especially since they removed his smg 11 a few seasons ago that that pissed me off and just moved him down a little bit in my tears and then the castle so castle is one of those operators that i need to play more he's very good and i think when i start playing more he'll move up my tears it's just i don't pick him enough and it's my fault echo love echo very good operator. Once again, same case with Castle. I need to play Castle and Echo a lot more, especially within Solo Queue, because I believe both those operators have heavy potential. Because both those operators, I think that when the, when the wall goes down, that pivotal wall that's by the default plan or whatever, depending on how you set up as the Echo or as the Castle, you can still very easily defend the site. Very easily, especially with Echo. You don't even have to be in the same floor to stop the plane from going down. And I think that's great. I personally love that. And I'm going to be doing a lot more dynamic things with Echo and Castle. I just have to actually, you know, get the operators for it. So then we got Pulse. Pulse is helpful. He's good. It's just, you know, you have other operators that can do his job a little bit better than him. Like Valkyrie. Valkyrie does what he does a lot better, a lot more safer, and she has a better gun. Osa. Osa's dropped down a little bit because people know how she works now. 
at first when she came out, people were like, whoa, and we're just not ready for her. And I'm not going to lie, I slammed some people by just putting that shield down. They peeked me and I just shot them. But now that people know how she works, she's a bit more predictable. Still a very helpful operator. We have Zero. Zero is one of those operators that I should definitely invest more time into. I believe he has a lot of potential and he's a very good operator. It's just... There's other operators I think are more pivotal to have and more of game changers on the attack than him. I just... He's a good operator. It's just kind of going to have to use him more to see what his true potential is. Next operator I have is Ying. Ying is very good. I love Ying. If you've watched any of my streams recently, I play a lot of Ying. I enjoy using her. I love the aggression you can have with those Candelas. I just think, once again, other operators are better that you need to have on the site. Because the thing about Siege is that you have there are some operators that are just necessities. You want to have the best possible operator for the site that you're attacking or defending in order to have the best chance of winning. It's not always about the gun you have. It's not always about how many kills you get it's always it's a lot of times just about the utility the gadget the operator you have in play cali bro i think cali would be the single best operator in the game if she didn't have a sniper rifle i mean I, it just man it limits her so much but that um that cali lance is by far one of my favorite gadgets and i use a lot of cali on my main account when you're playing in the high ranks people are going to try and nitro you they're not going to want you to get close to the wall so using maverick sometimes isn't an option but Callie, man, she's just disgusting. Well, let's say next operator, we have Capcam. I think it's funny that the devs let him put five on a door now. I think that's hilarious. Because if someone dies to that, they're just blind. But I, I think that's funny. But that when they buffed him to where it's no longer an immediately lethal charge. So a long time ago, I don't know if any of you played back then when they had it. But Capcan used to have a laser that would go across the door. And it was pretty visible. You could see it. But a lot of times, you weren't paying attention. You'd run through it. He only had three traps, but they did 100 damage. So the only operators that could survive it were three armors. The other two operators, a two armor, would typically either just die or get downed. And a one armor would 100% die. So since they changed him to having five, I still think he's very good. He's a good roamer. He's just one of those operators that's good at lurking and just being a nuisance to the attackers because they have to try and go find him and they're worrying about the traps and him at the same time. It's a good mixture. So now we have Hibana and Thermite. I'm going to talk about these two together because Hibana and Thermite are both of my most played operators of any operator in the game. Um, they're my top two attackers, but also I have more time on both of them than I do on any other defender. So they're my single most played operators ever. And Hibana is one of my favorite operators, if not my favorite. The reason I put both of them here is once again, you have Ace and Maverick. You don't need these operators. Hibana is very good for sites that only have hatches if Cade's banned. If Cade's used, then Hibana, you can't use her. And once again with Thermite, you don't want to get up close to that wall all the time because once again, Nitro cells shooting through the floor. There's so many hazards you have to worry about, especially if you, you have, they have a Maverick. If you have a Maverick on your team and he opens up part a part of the wall, you got shot in your foot, shot in the side nitro cell over the wall impact grenades there's just a lot of hazards and as you move up in the ranks you'll start to see these more gridlock i love gridlock great operator nomad does her job better it's that simple yana i love yana i actually been using her a lot more and i think she's good she's just not top tier dokabi dokabi very disgustingly good operator um in five stacks that like to track people down and uh go roam hunting she's very very good um, it's just that DMR kind of holds her back. I put Sens and Helpful because I don't think Sens is a top tier yet because people haven't found out how to use her. I personally don't even have her unlocked on any of my accounts because I don't, I don't buy the season pass. But I believe that when people learn how to actually use her, she's going to become very good. And the devs might do something to make her a little bit better. We'll see. All right, so now we're moving on into the second highest tier. This is operators that can be used on any site. Very useful operators, very good operators that also have very good kits and good guns. These operators are pretty much, mu you can have these operators and you don't have to have the top operators. The top operators are just the ones that you have to have. These ones will work though for your site. So we got Flores. I think he's gotten only better since he's gotten in because people have learned how to use his drone more effectively. That drone is disgusting. If Mute is not used on the site, are you destroy the Mute Jammers? Oh, he's a real nuisance to deal with. He's annoying. Smoke. Smoke is my favorite defender. He's, um, I think, my second most played defender. No, he's my most played defender on my main account. Um, but all, across all my accounts, he might be my second most played. But I love him so much. SMG 11. 
favorite gun in the game. I love mowing people down with that. And if you know how to set up a sight with smoke, you can completely control the round. Vigil, arguably the best roamer in the game. You can't even drone him accurately. It's difficult. He has a very, very good SMG. It's pretty much an assault rifle. He has the SMG-12 as his secondary and impact grenades to rotate. He was really, when he came into the game, he was just the roamer. He is the roamer that you got to have. Best, best roamer I would, I would pick him to go roam over any other operator. Thunderbird. Once I talked about uh, Rook and Doc earlier, I was mentioning Thunderbird a lot. Thunderbird does her job better. Ever since she was introduced, she just does their job better. She has a Nitro Cell, and guess what? An Assault Rifle on the defense. What a great idea, Ubisoft. Give a defender an Assault Rifle on defense. Stupid, but she's very good because of that. Then we have Buck. I put Sludge lower because of how, you know, you get up and close personal, and that's kind of dangerous. Buck can do the same thing Sludge can do, he just backs up a little bit and his gun is a lot better. And with them removing the SMG-11 from Sludge, I, I just, he's just not as good as Buck anymore, he really isn't. Aruni. Aruni gates are very good, very, very good. And the fact that she can break those little holes in the wall with her fist allows her to set up very unique things. Like that setup on Oregon that a lot of you have probably seen where they reinforce one side of the wall inside of that hatch room. Hatch is reinforced one side wall and then they have the little bar across that's open to shoot into bunker that really didn't come into play until a was introduced because a is built for that and she's built for other strats where you can continue to do that i think she's good i would just i just choose to use smoke over her or another shotgun operator it's just my personal preference but a lot of people instead use her i've seen some bad strats and some good strats but she's one of those operators that's very good well my so as you see i haven't brought in jaeger yet you know where jaeger's gonna be jaeger's very good well my is just one step down from him if you have Wumai and Jaeger, perfect duo. Very good at stopping projectiles. And obviously, Wumai is one of the only operators that can stop ace charges, capital bolts. So he's very useful for sites like Villa, where there's that lounge room where you can throw the Wumai discs on the couches and it pulls it into that, or you, um, it pulls the ace charges into those Wumai discs. So it's very useful in certain situations like that. But just as an operator, he's definitely one of the best in the game. Then we have Azami. Azami is insane, dude. Like, I've never seen such a creative operator from Siege. It's been a long, long time since Siege introduced an operator like this. I did not play Demon Veil vale last season at all. Like, barely. I played maybe 35 matches. And in those matches, I got close to Diamond and I was like, Plat 1. But, man, Azami was everywhere. I loved seeing her play my, my teammates and the enemies. She's such an interesting operator. It's just like, it's like a better castle, almost. Because you can put it anywhere. It's so weird, but so awesome at the same time. Then you have Mute. Mute's been one of the best in the game for the longest time. That shotgun SMG combo, once again, it's deadly on, it's deadly on smoke, it's deadly on Mute. I mean, I have a strat on Canal that has like a 90% win rate when I use Mute just because of how disgustingly good he is. Then you have Bandit. Once again, Bandit has one operator that does his job better. Y'all already know who that is. But I use Bandit a lot because Kate is banned most of the time. So Bandit is that next up operator that you got, have got to use to get the walls. He's just a very necessary operator you have to have for the site. Then we have Zofia. Zofia, very, very good. I don't like her M762. It's a little bit too unstable. And the LMG is just better now. Especially, you know, when you have 150 rounds, you can kind of just keep shooting. So that helps. Ash. Ash is very good. I believe since they've been nerfing the R4C over time that she's progressively gotten a little bit worse. But that G36C is what I personally use, and it's still a very good assault rifle. She's a very good operator, can completely destroy an entire floor. And she's just, she's that one operator that you're going to see people really run and gun on. And she's still definitely top tier. Maestro, a lot of people might disagree with me and might put Maestro a little bit lower because they think his LMG isn't that good. That LMG is a headshot machine, and if you set up his Maestro cams correctly, you're going to win the round. Then we have Legion. Legion's arguably the best shallow roamer slash anchor in the game. If you don't know what shallow roaming is, I'll probably make a video talking about that, or at least talk about it in the future, but it's not something I'm going to talk about now. Um, his Legion Goo Mine's best sound cue in the game and slows down any attacker steps on. It's just always been one of those operators. Mozzie, very good. Once again, most people, how I play Mozzie, I don't play Mozzie to set up drones. I play Mozzie as more of like a roamer that doesn't want to get caught it's a, he's, he can almost be used as a better vigil if you anchor in, in one spot like or, or if you roam in one position if you stay in that one area and then set up your pests they can't drone you because their drones get taken over if you're vigil they kind of have an idea of where you are maverick maverick is like this close to being one of those like most necessary operators it's just 
you have Cali and like other operators that are substitutes and people that can do the same job like Fraggerty and stuff. So I'm not gonna put him at the like necessary operator. He's not the best, not the not the most useful, but he is one of my most played operators and probably a top three most played attacker for me this season. All right, so now we have moved into the best operators in the game. These are the must have operators. You have got to have these on your site. Most of these operators that are listed here are gonna be banned almost every match and half of them are gonna be banned most of the time. So first up we have Jaeger, obviously. He's been the best defender in the game for the longest time, like since his release. He's just that operator. They have nerfed him and, and reworked him a little bit, but he's one of those operators that if Ubisoft changes too much, the attack will kind of just destroy everyone because the attackers inherently have better weapons, better sometimes better gadgets. But Jaeger is one of those operators that just completely equalizes the playing field. And he's, uh, I think he's my second most played defender. I use him a lot. And he's not really banned that much because both sides know you have to have Jaeger. And there's other operators that, that they read a ban. Cade. Cade is the second most banned operator in Rainbow Six Siege, right behind Thatcher. Cade is disgustingly crazy. He's the only operator in the game that can electrify a hatch. He's the only operator in the game that can use one thing to get all three walls, which is insane. You could argue mute, but he won't cover all three fully. And with Kate, I bully people. I, he's my one of my favorite defenders. I, I love him so much. That AUG is disgusting, and he's definitely one of the greatest. Then you have Ace. No one bans Ace because they know how useful Ace is. And if you ban Ace, you have Thatcher. It's one of those things. It's funny. You pick your poison. You ban Ace or you ban Thatcher. Okay, ban Thatcher. You still got Ace on the board. AK-12, two Selmas. Are you kidding me? Like, disgusting. And if you don't ban Thatcher... We all know what happens when you don't ban Thatcher. So now talk about Thatcher. For those of you who don't know what he does because he's been banned so much, he throws his little EMP grenade, disables every gadget within like a 10 meter radius. Everything. Cade, Mew, Bandit, doesn't matter what it is. Jaeger, D disabled. Disabled for like 15 seconds. Thermite, Hibana, Ace, all of them can get the wall. He throws one little grenade, they can open up the wall easily. That's why he's the most banned operator in Rim Six Siege. Then we have Nomad. She's banned a lot actually. Um, not banned as, as much as those operators, but she is banned a decent amount. Best flank denial operator. She can completely shut off an entire floor. You walk into that air jab, you are going to die. If anyone is even close to that and they hear it go off, you're going to get shot. Then we have Jackal. Jackal's top five most banned operator, 100%. He is always banned because nobody wants to get tracked their exact location whenever they're roaming in the middle of nowhere. And Jackal just scans your, your footprint and then, oh, there you are. Okay, I'm going to ping you three times kind of been broken since his release and even though they've nerfed his assault rifle his assault rifle is still disgusting and he has the pdw which is equally gross and moving on to the last opera in this tier list we have valkyrie do i really need to talk about valkyrie you have three cameras you can put anywhere inside the map you can nitro sell people and you have the mpx which is a complete headshot machine anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if your operator was one that i talked about sucking it definitely sucks accept it it's okay but this is by far the most accurate tier list you guys will see. Thank you guys for watching this video. I love y'all boys, and I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.